myself out at home. Uh, listen, Stevens, uh, I'm not going to mince words. After your brother gets uh, sent up the river, there's going to be a certain job opportunity to open up that I want to speak to you about. You want me to replace Chris? Shh, shh, there's no point in broadcasting it. Look, you showed me something today, Stevens. You, you, you showed me a man who is ready and willing to pick up the fallen standard and continue the charge. You've got a way with words, son. You've got the Stevens way with words. And on top of that, you don't sound black. Truth is, Bernard, if I close my eyes, you sound as white as Casper. You know something, Maurice? I like you. I do. And it troubles me. Troubles you? Yeah, this may come as a shock, but you're a bigot. Bigot? You're a racist. Wait a minute. Because you don't sound black, I'm a bigot and a racist? Look, Stevens, I, I, I know black people. I've been around black people and know how they talk. They say, uh, thing instead of thing. They say, uh, axe. I ask you this, brother. I ask you that. Now, you don't say ax. Neither does Colin Powell or that, uh, that, that uh, Denzel fellow. You know what's interesting? Is the linkage of King's English and superior breeding. And the further linkage of superior breeding with being white. Now, rather than saying there's a black person speaking King's English, we say there's a black person speaking white. What's wrong with that? Well, for a long time, it hung me up. I mean, I tried to talk ghetto in high school, and it wasn't me. Very unsettling. Well, what's your point? My point? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Although, admittedly, you're a racist, and what you said makes me uncomfortable, there's a kernel of truth to it. Though I suspect it has more to do with intellectual and cultural standards than it does with racial distinctions. <laughs> Why is it? That when I say something like that, I'm a racist. And when you say something like that, uh, you're just being thoughtful. Oh, no, Maurice. I'm a racist, too. For a long time, I didn't like being around white people. But once I realized that imperialism, slavery, and genocide weren't exclusively white institutions, it helped me loosen up a bit. Hmm. 